Okay, in this problem, we're given a decomposition reaction. Uh, we are being told it's first order. We're given a rate constant. And we want to know if it's carried out at the same temperature. Uh, and we're given an initial concentration. We want to know the concentration after a set amount of time. So let's write what we know. We know it's first order, so that means rate equals K times our reactant to the first power. However, this rate law doesn't have time in it. It is only concentration based. So what we need to do is we need to use an integrated rate law, which don't memorize these, I will give them. You'll have to recognize the first order integrated rate law, but it says ln concentration of A sub T equals negative KT plus natural log of our initial concentration. So from here, it's really just plug and chug. It is not that difficult. So we know natural log of here, SO2Cl2 at time 865 seconds is gonna equal negative, and here's our K, 2.90 times 10 to the negative fourth, and that's inverse seconds. That's not a five, that's an S. Time, uh, time, 865 seconds, so there they cancel out, plus natural log of our initial concentration, 0 0.0. 225. Since we're dealing with natural logs here, um, I'm not going to put the molarity on there. I guess if you want to, you could do it like that. Um, remember to add the concentration units back later. Okay, so let's do this. Here, we're going to take negative 2.9 times 10 to the negative fourth. We're going to multiply that by 865. And that's going to give me negative 0 point approximately 251. There's no number there. Plus, let's take my natural log 0 0.0225 plus negative 3.794. And then we'll put molarity out there. All right, so now let's add these together. So plus negative 0.251. So that gives me, here, let me just copy this back. I'm bad about that. So natural log concentration SO2Cl2 at 865 seconds equals negative 4.0. Four or five. Okay, and molar. So now we need to undo this natural log. We undo the natural log by taking E to this number. So that tells us our concentration of SO2Cl2 at 865 seconds equals E to the negative 4.045. So let's just take E to that answer, and we get 0 0.0175 in molar. Now, we need to make sure that as time progresses, this is a decomposition reaction, so our reaction, uh, our concentration of SO2Cl2 should be decreasing. So did we get a number that's less than what we started with? We did. So that's good. I've worked this problem before and uh, forgotten the negative signs or added them wrong and gotten a number that's larger than, <laughs> than what I started with. That's not possible.